Well, if you remember, we talked about X and Y having some nicknames, uh, input output or domain and range. Well, the slope has another nickname, and, and of course you know that the letter M is an abbreviation for slope, but when we talk about functions, we normally don't say slope or, or M, we normally say rate of change. So if a problem asks you for the rate of change, it's just asking you for the slope. Let me just reiterate that again. If they ask you for the rate of change, it just means slope, and everything you know about slope is true. Okay, They're all the same. So with this lesson, we're really going to be looking at two different functions, and we're going to say which has the, the greater rate of change, okay? Um, that just means the biggest. Uh, other problems, you might say, what's the, the smaller rate of change? That just means the smallest, and, and literally rate of change is just finding the slope. So um, you've got to be uh, a little bit uh, on your game as far as knowing how they're going to look like in different forms. That's kind of the... the um, the crowning moment of this function chapter in some respects is comparing functions in different forms, you know, the rate of changes. So um, let's take a look at function A. I know that that format is y equals mx plus b. That means that that 3 is your slope. That's your rate of change. So you might want to make a note there. That's usually when you're comparing the two functions, make a note as soon as you have the, the rate of change for the first one. And then for the second one, we know how to get a slope from a table there. Just take two of the xy rows and uh, plug them into y minus y over x minus x. And so that would be a rate of change for negative 2. And so since they're asking us to compare which one's greater, which one's bigger, 3 or negative 2? Well, the rate of change that has 3 is the, the um, greater rate of change. So function A has the greater rate of change. Let's go take a look at this one. We've got two other formats here that you're familiar with. And uh, this time it's, it's saying which of these linear functions has the lesser rate of change. That means the smaller one, okay? So uh, which one's lesser? Which one's the least? Um, for function A, you need to go find two good points and go find it. It would go up two and over to the right one, and that would be two over one. So uh, function A's rate of change is positive two. When we take a look at function B, um, these are ordered pairs. Just go and get the slope from the first two ordered pairs. Y minus Y over X minus X. And function B's slope is negative 5. So which one's smaller? And that's something to be aware of. Is, is they love to throw this up uh, to where it kind of changes it up. Sometimes you might get a lot of which one's greater than, and other times which one's uh, less than. So uh, in this case, function B is the smaller rate of change. Last tip, what if they give you an equation, but it's not in the slope-intercept form, you know, like standard form? Just wanted to remind you how this works. So y would equal because it's negative, negative right here, it would become positive 2 thirds x. Over here, what's a positive 5 divided by negative 3? You can't really simplify that without going into decimals, so we would just let that sit at negative 5 thirds. Um, but uh, that's how you can go get your rate of change if they don't give you uh, a slope-intercept form equation. You can just go put it in to that.